Hi everyone. Today we are going to be doing a video called uh, on a program called GigaTribe. GigaTribe is a wonderful file sharing program. It's a very small program that you can put on your computer and connect with others. Or I even use it with all the computers in the house. Uh, if my kids need a program installed on their computer, they can get it from mine and vice versa. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to go to GigaTribe.com. You're going to download the program. As you see, it has the big, bu big button right here. That is the first thing you're going to do. After you finish downloading it and it um, you install it, of course, and it's going to come up to a page where you create your account, you put in your email address, you put in uh, your username you want to use, and of course, your uh, password. And then what you're going to do, you are going to go into the program called Giga Tribe on your computer. This one is how it is. Now I'm already logged in. You'll have a log on screen where you can put in your username and password and log in. Now the way you add friends, okay, the right up here is a search bar um, that you can add friends with. Now if you know the person's name or pretty much know what they're about, there's this little at like little green plus sign here and that is add. Okay, so you can add a contact or you can create a group. Uh, you'd add contact. Now from here you can send an invitation to a friend who already has Giga Tribe. You can send invitations to people that is in your social network, whether it's Facebook, Flickr, Gmail, LinkedIn, Yahoo, etc. And um, they can join up with you or you can send an invitation email. Uh, what I, of course, had to do was find my own account. So I chose the first one, send an invitation to a friend who already has GigaTribe. From here, I typed in the name. Okay. And then I clicked. Now you can do search only ultimate users. Users connected within the last seven days. User only uses English. From here, you click next, and it's going to go ahead and search for the contact that you have put in here. From here, you can choose um, the person, and uh, just by putting the little check mark in here, and you can add a little message. Uh, this is me, so that people will know who you are, and then you click add. And then that person can go in and see that it's you and go ahead and add. Now, on sharing folders, um, now of course, right now, I have not added, uh, not been able to go to the other computer to uh, approve myself. So, usually, uh, be over here, all contacts, invitations received. This is where you're going to see who has uh, sent you an invitation to connect with you. And you can do accept or you can do reject. And you can also block the user from ever seeing you again. That's a really wonderful thing. Uh, and so I will go back over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to go to my desktop. Um, I actually have some to install right here. I'm going to go click on select folder. It's going to go ahead and start reading that folder here, okay? You click OK, let it read what's in there. Now, there you go. Now, anybody can go in here into my folder and click them till they actually come up to what I have in here. And so, it is that easy. You also can do your profile. You have uh, little tabs. Oh, I should have told you before you do the create folder, you need to have the little folder. Uh, little uh, icon here actually highlighted up here with a little tab yes news profile folders this is where you add your folders okay uh, transfers you can see who is downloading from you and exactly how far they have gotten with downloading uh, you can even do a blog uh, any kind of blog posting on here it's a really nice little program you can go corporate or you can get some little perks um, if you pay for it of course um, you know, I just use it between my two computers, and they also send an email for you to verify, so that way they don't delete your account. Uh, so make sure you check your email address, whichever email address you do use. And um, what I'm going to do is go into my inbox and see if they have sent me one yet, and they have not. So um, I'm just going to wait on that. Uh, hopefully they'll send me one soon. 
So that's all there is to it. I hope this uh, video tutorial has helped you out. If there are any video tutorials you need made, uh, feel free to let me know. Feel free to leave any com um, comments about the video, um, how I can improve, possibly. Uh, any kind of comments you like. Whether you hate me, whether you love me, that's okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day.